Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video we will go through how to communicate between two Siemens S7-1200 PLC using the open user communication, T-Send and Receive. First let's add our two PLC to the project. If we choose unspecified 1200 CPU and the correct version number, TIA portal will be able to detect your PLC automatically. In the security setting we don't want anything that could prevent us from communicate between them. I will just uncheck and go without any protection at all. Now that we got our two PLC in the project we want to make some setting to them. Let's double click on PLC1. If we now click on the Profinet port we can choose an IP address for the PLC. It is important to know which IP address we use, because we will need it later when we set up the communication. We also want to add a new subnet to the project. If we click on the PLC again and go to the System and Clock Memory tab, we want to activate System Memory Bits and Clock Memory Bits. Just check the two boxes to enable them. Then we can choose a memory address we want them to start at. Next we want to go to Protection and Security tab. If we scroll down a bit here we will find a box saying Permit Access with PutGet Communication from Remote Partner. We want to check this box to let the PLC communicate. I will now compile these settings. If we now go back to the Devices and Networks view we can see that a subnet is added. We can simply drag it to the seconds PLC Profinet port and they will be connected. I will now make the same settings on PLC2. But with a different IP address in the same range as the other one. Now that our hardware settings are done we can go to PLC1 main tab and do some programming. I want this PLC to be the one sending signals. So if we go to instructions tab under communication we can find open user communication. If we open that one we will find the tsend underscore c function block. Just drag it into the programming rung. The input named req on this block is the request tag. Every time it triggers it will request the connected PLC to send its values. I am gonna add a 1 Hz clock pulse here so it will send a request every second. To set the connection input we wanna click on the small toolbox on the function block. It will open up a setting for the connection. Under the connection parameter we want to choose which partner PLC we are connected to. I am going to choose my PLC2. Here we can see both our PLC IP addresses. We need to make a new connection data for the connection. It will make a data block for us. And then do the same on PLC2. It will automatically set the send PLC as active connection establishment. The sending PLC should always be the active establishment.
Our connection parameters are now done. If we now check under system blocks of our two PLC, we can see that TIA portal added a send and receive data block for both of them. They can be added directly to the connection input of the function block. On the data input we want to make our own data block to let the function block know which data values we are sending. So let's make a new data block. I will add three tags to the data block, one boolean and two integer tags. We will need to give each of our tags an address. To do so we right click on our data block and go to properties. Here we need to uncheck the box which says optimize block access. Then we need to compile our data block. We can see now that they've been given an address. Then we can simply drag the data block to the input of the function block. I have connected a push button on my PLC1, so I will add a small code that if I press the button it will send my boolean tag from the data block I made. Now we are done on the PLC1 side. Let's go to the PLC2 main tab. Here I will add a t receive underscore c function block instead of the send one. On the input that says enable underscore receive we can decide if we want something to trigger before it receives the request from the sending PLC. Or else we can just set it to true which will allow all data to be received at all time. For the connection we do the same as the other one. Click on the toolbox from the function block. Under the connection parameter we choose our PLC1 as the partner. And now we can choose our already made receive data block as connection data and TIA portal will automatically know which of the two is the active connection establishment. And for the data input of the block, we want to make a data block on this PLC too. To make it as clear as possible I will just call the tags exactly the same as on the sending side. You can name them however you want though, the important thing is that we give them the same address by unchecking the optimized block access. Now we just add the data block to the data input of the function block. I will also add so that once PLC2 receive its data from address x0.0 .0, it should turn on output q0.3. Then we can compile and download to both of the PLC.
I will now go online on the PLC and test out my button. As you can see when I press the button on PLC1 then PLC2 will receive its data and turn on output 3. If we now open up both the data blocks I will try to send the two integer tags. If I now modify the value it will send it over to PLC2. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.